Good morning all. Welcome back to my class. Today we are going to learn a new poem on the grasshopper and cricket. This poem is written by John Keats. He was an English romantic poet. He was born in London on 31st October 1795. Turn your textbook to page number 122. On the grasshopper and cricket. In the poem On the Grasshopper and Cricket, the poet John Keats celebrates the music of the earth. He finds beauty in hot summer as well as in cold winter. Here in this poem, the grasshopper is a symbol of hot summer and cricket is a symbol of cold winter. The poetry of earth is never dead. When all the birds are faint with the hot sun and hide in cooling trees, a voice will run from hedge to hedge about the new mound maid. That is the grasshoppers. He takes the lead in summer luxury. He has never done with his delights. For when tired out with fun, he rests at ease beneath some pleasant weed. The poetry of earth is ceasing never. On a long winter evening when the frost has wrought a silence, from the stone there shrills the cricket's song, in warmth increasing ever, and seems to one in drowsiness half lost, the grasshoppers among some grassy hills. I am going to explain, so listen. The poetry of earth is never dead. When all the birds are faint with the hot sun, and hide in cooling trees, a voice will run from hedge to hedge about the new mound made. That is the grasshoppers. He takes the lead in summer luxury. He has never done with his delights. For when tired out with fun, he rests at ease beneath some pleasant weed. The poet says that the music of nature or earth is always alive, whether it is hot summer or cold winter. During the hot summer, all the birds are tired due to the heat of the sun and take rest under the shady branches of the trees. The poet says even then the song of nature can be heard. We can still hear the voice of the grasshopper who runs from hedge to hedge. He leads the way and sings the everlasting song of nature. During summer he enjoys the pleasure of singing. When he gets tired with the fun he rests beneath some weed. Look at the second stanza. The poetry of earth is ceasing never. On a long winter evening when the frost has wrought a silence, from the stone there shrills the cricket's song, in warmth increasing ever, and seems to one in drowsiness half lost, the grasshoppers among some grassy hills. The poet says the poetry of earth never ends. During the winter season the birds are silent. There is utter silence on the frosty winter days. However, at that time, the cricket begins to sing from the stone and spreads the warmth of joy everywhere. The people who are half asleep feel that it is the grasshopper's song which is coming from the grassy hills. Through this poem, the poet sends the message that nature is beautiful all the time, irrespective of the season. So, in a similar way, we should be joyful in our life and be happy in all situations, whether the conditions are in our favor or against us. That's all for the day. Thank you.